Just when you thought your day really sucked. You suck. Here comes something to make it suck even more. It's a Lamont and Tonelli podcast. We have Joe Elliott on the line right now. Joe, I, I didn't think you were going to call in. Are you there? Hello. Oh, I'm here. Oh, hey, what's, what's going on? Mate? Good. How are you, you man? Buy me a meal first, will you? <laughs> where Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in Dublin. I, I'm in Ireland. You're in Ireland. I live in Ireland. Oh, I see. I didn't know you lived in Ireland. Oh yeah, I lived in Ireland for 27 years. I think. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, we were uh, in Ireland last year. If I'd have known that, I would have looked you up. What is your <laughs> What is your favorite pub in in all of Dublin? Yeah. Ooh, loaded question. Um, uh, there's a couple, actually. Um, well, the touristy one is Johnny Fox's. Um, yeah. But my favorite is the one down just further down the road. It's called the Blue Light. Yeah. And uh, that's like a, you know, that's proper sawdust on the floor, not not like tourist sawdust. It's great. We, we were uh, in Dublin a couple of years ago. What is, is it, O'Donoghue's? Is that one of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. O'Don- yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, there's also one called Dohenian Nesbitt's, which is great. It's oh, got, we like, did these that little snugs that you can, you can hide in. Yeah. And nobody can see you there. I was, I was in, I was in one of those little snugs about uh, four months ago with Robert Plant. Um, he was in town with Patty Griffin, who was doing a TV show, and yeah. uh, we were yeah. drinking a few pints again until like two o'clock in the morning. Hey, it's now, fun. now, uh, what, what's it like uh, drinking with Robert Plant? <laughs> like, do you guys talk music at all? Do you start? No, singing? God, no, Jesus, we wouldn't talk music. No, you see, our connection is football, it's soccer. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, of course, obviously, he knows who we are, and I know, you know, I think he used to be in a band called Led Zeppelin. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's always about, you know, I support a team called Sheffield United, and he supports a team called Wolves, and uh, we're in the same division. Um, well, we were until they just got promoted this season, so yeah. I won't be playing him next year, but, you know, there's always a nice bit of text banter when they beat us, or I beat, you know, our team beat him. Are you uh, going to go to Rio for the World Cup next year? No, I'll be on tour. Oh, that's right. Now, hey, now yeah, you guys. Yeah, and we're on tour. Yeah, now you guys. I should be, I should be, I should be singing a song, and there'll be an iPad wedged on my wedge, my 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 vocal wedge. There'll be a little iPad with a TV <laughs> on and a bass on. Yeah. If there's any weird screams or or or, or like any weird, uh, if you start swearing, we're gonna know. Oh my God, it's yeah, If I start cool. singing the football results, then you'll really know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now uh, you are gonna be on tour with Kiss. And you're coming to the Bay Area on uh, July 2nd. Uh, that That's is going right. to, hey, I'll tell you what, that is uh, pretty damn close to July 4th. That's an early kickoff for a July 4th weekend, my friend. Yeah, there'll be a lot of fireworks that night, I would imagine. Yeah, um, yeah it's going to be a lot of fun, you know. I mean, you get two bands as iconic as Def Leppard and Kiss on the same stage on the same night. That's, I mean, that's without the pyro, that's pretty explosive anyway, you know. So it's a great opportunity for both bands, really, to showcase what they're about. I mean, it's their 40th anniversary tour. Um, we've been together, what, 34 years, I think, by now. Um, it's just, this is one and one makes three. That's what it is. You know, in this day and age, it's, you're always looking for an angle. There's, 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 it, with the music industry being the way it is, you just don't know which way it's going to be from one day to the next. But yeah. Opportunities like this don't come along every day, and, and you'd be an idiot not to just think, think that this is a great idea. Hey, now, you know what? I, I, I'll tell you what really impressed me. Now, you said you were drinking with uh, Robert Plant. Have you, over the years, uh, spent a night drinking with uh, Gene Simmons? He doesn't drink. <laughs> but I have spent <laughs> plenty of time... Um, on an airplane with the guy, we yeah. uh, we toured together in a, in a little thing called the Rock and Roll All Stars, which was um, three of the guys from Guns N' Roses, me, Gene, uh, Billy Duffy from the Cult, Steve Stevens, yeah. uh, Mike Inez from Alice in Chains, Sebastian Bach, and we were all jumping in and out and playing on each other's songs, you know, four Leopard songs, four Kiss songs, four GNR songs. It was a lot of fun. Well, I'm just, um, I'm just kind of curious. Got talking, we got talking a lot. We were playing music most of the time, uh, drinking tea. It was very <laughs> civilized. Yeah. I'm just kind of curious, though, if you were, because you were on an airplane with Gene Simmons. Now, you and Robert Plant, you talk soccer. I am just going to take a quick guess here, that when you're with Gene Simmons, you're talking ways to make money. Not at all. He really? may well have been, and I would have been in awe of the fact that that's like, you know, you can make money selling that. Wow, that's great. <laughs> right, you, know. you know, what we were doing, were, we were pulling each other's iPods out of this iPod dock and going, no, no, listen to this, listen to this, trying to find the most obscure 
kind of uh, anglophile B-side from 1964, like some old Idle Race song or The Move or, the, you know, some B-side of a small face single yeah. that only got released in Poland. Yeah. And it was, it was that kind of thing. He's such a huge fan of English music, early, like The Stones and The Who and The Kinks and all those great British bands that came through the 60s and early 70s. Um, and we were just trying to, you know, outdo each other with our knowledge of music. Him being a little older than me, he won. Hey, now, uh, real quick, uh, I, I want to ask you this because I think this is brilliant. Uh, what you did with the uh, the entire album, Hysteria, that I guess you guys were going through a bit of a problem with uh, with the record company. Can you can you tell me a bit about this? Um, regarding Hysteria? Yeah. You re-recorded Well, yeah, but you, re you, re you re-recorded the album, is that right? Recorded three songs, yeah. Well, well, we did two of them for a movie. Yeah. Um, the fact is that we can, you know, we're out of our... We, we don't have a record company. Our deal came to its natural end in 2008. Yeah. But um, the way that the deal is structured is that we... They, they don't have the rights for our digital. Yeah. Um, and... They, they, when we tried to strike a deal with them, which we we did strike a deal with them in 2010, yeah, um, we shook hands on it. And where I come from, that's a binding contract. Right. right. And uh, two days before we were supposed to put pen uh, ink to paper, as it were, um, some guy flew in from the UK and took a look at the deal and said, "This is not going to happen." Yeah. And yeah. we were like so incensed with the way that they pulled this trick on us. Um, and we were no longer attached to them anyway, but um, we just said, well, that's it, you know, that we're not having anything else to do with you until peace breaks out, which may or may never happen. But, you know, we, we retain certain rights, like they can't delete mid-price or put us on compilations that we don't want to be on. So until we get all that kind of nonsense political stuff sorted out, uh, we are free and... and willing to do whatever we want with our music except for the original so we when when the rock of ages film was made and they asked us for a couple of songs we said fine we'll re-record them and then for 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 just to celebrate the viva hysteria residency in vegas we re-recorded the title track of the album so you know it's, it's like we, this is nothing that we enjoy yeah but it's the case yeah. of like i just you know i grew up as a kid in the 70s watching all the stuff about people like Jimi Hendrix dying with eight quid in the bank and all these bands are getting, you know, your Framptons and all this lot selling six million records and being ripped off by their manager or whatever it was, you know. All this mad stuff where people end up penniless, but they, they did all the work, but somebody else took all the money. Right, and, and so in a nutshell, you re-recorded these, so you guys are making the royalties, then the record well, company's not making them, right? For what we think we deserve. Right, right. exactly. We're not going to just give it away. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're just wrestling back control of our career, so that every decision made is ours. Yeah. Every mistake made, we can't point fingers, because we never like doing that. It's like, it'll be... Our destiny is in our hands. We don't want it in the hands of somebody else. Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. Real quick question for you. Here's some noise in the background. It sounds like a kid. You're not still pumping out kids, are you? Not still doing what? You're, you're not pumping out kids, are you? It sounds like you've got like a kid crying in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the one. <laughs> Just the one? How old? Yeah. How old? He, he's four. Four years of age. Hey, Congratulations. You're just like me. I've got a five-year-old. Unbelievable. Hey, I'll, you sound like a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I resemble that remark. Hey, Joe, a big, big fan, and look forward to seeing Def Leppard when you come to the Bay Area. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be a loud night. All right. The great Joe Elliott of uh, Def Leppard touring with Kiss, and uh, we have all the information on our website if, uh, if you want to just click on through right now and get tickets. Thank you, Joe. Pleasure, guys. All right, Joe, All take right. it. Can you imagine going into a wow, neighborhood he's a, pub he's like four year old? Like Doheny and Nesbitt. He's got a four year old right now? Yep. For a beer and seeing Joe Elliott and Robert Plant having yeah. a beer together. Exactly. Just talking music. He's only fifty four though. That's right. That's not well, there you go. Wow. He must be down at Advanced Mail Medical Center. <laughs> I'll get him some gummy bears when he comes to town. <laughs> Another fine product from Uranus. That concludes the Lamont and Tonelli podcast. To hear more and everything Lamont and Tonelli, check out the website at lntworld.com.